He gives you the latest sports news, interviews, and life-changing commentary with a smile on his face. Because he wears those ticklish underpants. Let's get back to the Connor Happer Show on 1620 The Zone. Well, as we said earlier, and as you well know, Memorial Stadium is a bit of a black hole in terms of cell service and Wi-Fi and for its own players where it's wearing scarlet and cream. No, no. But the first couple parts. You ever tried to send a text inside Memorial Stadium and then you get outside the stadium and you realize that it just sent and it didn't apply anymore because you sent it three and a half hours ago? (laughs) Everybody has. Raise your hand. Everybody raises their hand in the chat. Can I get some hand raises in the chat? Why'd you text me? I don't think we're going to win. <laughs> the game ended two hours yeah. ago. Um, or, you know, you try to upload a tweet. You do a tweet. Oh, yeah. It's very difficult. Uh, Troy Dannon uh, was asked to comment about this last night on the Huskers Radio Network. We have some video for you. So this is courtesy of the uh, of the network. Um, good to see Greg Sharp, by the way, doing this interview. Oh, yeah. And he... Um, he, he he had these things to say. Listen closely. You never know what you might hear. My understanding is there's more Wi-Fi inside the bowl last year, and the Wi-Fi is much stronger in the concourses this year to support the the uh, uh, cashless concession system. the The plan, as I understand it right now, Verizon is is looking at making a a, a strong eight figure investment in the cellular uh, service inside the stadium for next year. Wi-Fi, you know, we, we looked at could we do anything to the Wi-Fi system shy of the stadium construction. And any, uh, the, as, as I understand it, anything we put in, any repeaters we put in, in, the, in anywhere in the stadium are going to come down when the stadium is, is rebuilt anyway. So uh, I think the choice is going to be hopefully we can get the cellular system up uh, and, and improved a little bit. Wi-Fi, it, it will be state-of-the-art once the new stadium is done in, in the 27-28 timeline. In the, in the middle of that, you know, I, I think part of what happened from last year to this year was also. Uh, Mr. Yogurt. Yeah. What's thing? Okay. What was that? He knows the Wi-Fi is horrible. Get <laughs> off his back. It's like they anything else that they do would probably not be worth it until the new stadium. What's he talking about? Because the, the, the new- last that we heard about this, Josh, the last that we heard about this is that Trev's plan is kaput. It's a, he's a bad man. Bad Tre- man. Trev is bad, and we were getting chairbacks. Ooh, That's chair it. Backs. Chairs and chairbacks. Now, Josh, uh-huh. I don't know what I don't I don't know what you think about this, but would you refer to chairbacks as a new stadium, quote unquote? If, new stadium. If I was a professional communicator, well, I am a professional communicator. If I was in the position of Troy Dannon and I was athletic director of a big time university, I would probably be a little more detailed or, or you know, I'd have the corporate phrasing down a little better on new stadium or new chairbacks. Uh, uh, so first of all, let me let me cut this off before we get too far down this line. I apologize to the people who are listening on the app. I know we're having issues with the stream mm-hmm. and the app and how those two are connecting. We're we're trying to work through those issues. So if if you got thirty seconds of silence there on the app, that's on you us. know what Troy that, said. At that's this on point. us. That's on us. But to recap, mm-hmm. he was talking about some of the Wi-Fi issues um, and how basically they can't do anything until they build quote the new stadium. Now let let's let's also be clear here. After the apology, um, they're not getting a new stadium. <laughs> but he said new they're, stadium. They're not. Connor. They're they're not getting a new stadium. I would never call Troy Dannon a liar. But. It is a window, I think, into sort of how they, they're they thinking about this. And make no mistake about it, Saturday he'll be at the football game and he will be asked to clarify <laughs> by various reporters who find him. Um, what do you mean by new stadium? 
Is it possible that he just meant it's that that's what I meant? The chairbacks? That's 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 what the new stadium, that's what I'm talking about. What you know is what uh-huh. we know, and that's it. Or is it possible that there's something that there's a more intuitive, you know, bigger scale plan here that we don't quite know about yet? What I can tell you is that they're not gonna give they're not gonna build a new stadium. Seems I, unlikely. Yeah, they're, yes, they're not going to build a new stadium. Probably a state a stadium will be renovated, and in his mind, yeah, that's a new stadium. Headley writes in on YouTube. You heard it here first. Nebraska is getting a new stadium, most likely a billion dollar dome, sponsored and donated by Berkshire Hathaway. Oh yeah! Wow, exciting. That's what that's what Mister Yogurt was talking about. The new stadium, Star Wars fiend says is going to be in front of the new backdrop for Big Ten Crossing in Gretna. Oh, they're going to move the stadium to Big Ten Crossing. They're going to build a new stadium. Build, yeah, right there. Yep. Genius. Build a new stadium, make the make Big Ten Crossing pay. <laughs> he has so much money left over from Crossroads. Interesting, interesting uh, word choice there. I wonder if there's anything more to that. Because, well, like, like I said, Josh... If the only plan at the moment was to put in chairbacks in the East and West Stadium, I wouldn't be referring to that as new stadium. I would be referring to that as construction on existing stadium. Right. I would be at like, you know, and obviously there's going to be some significant infrastructural changes that come with adding chair backs to the east and west side and what like i said maybe at the end of the day that's all he's talking about that has to be all he's talking about but why would he say that i don't think that has to be all he's talking about but no, <laughs> no i i think he could be talking about something a, a bigger a larger scale project he's not talking about new like point blank period new stadium that's not a thing just so we're clear on that I feel it warranted a follow-up. Well, that wasn't the headliner. <laughs> wasn't the headliner, I guess. Uh, Texter writes in from before. Uh, this is from the state of Missouri. Hi, Missouri. Uh, those concessions figures, looking forward to more reporting on the underlying numbers. Things I think. Actual attendance numbers have been higher, and people have stayed longer through four games. Night games might mean more sales than 11 a.m. kick. Tax is now added to the prices this year. Um, okay. Maybe more tips being added on or counted differently than in the three hundred seventy-five thousand oh, dollar average. Yeah. Some work ahead for investigative journos, like a net That's gross sure. sort of thing. I, I, I totally believe that the crowds are thicker this yeah. year, for sure. Okay. Yeah, I mean Nebraska's played only night games except for the opener, and the opener is always big, always. So, yeah, I would imagine that that would correlate to just generally more people through those turnstiles and not leaving early sure yeah more people at the game um so that absolutely factors in the 900,000 not just the fact that it's cashless concessions but the the point of that one was it's working all right <laughs> it's gone pretty smooth